Hey guys, welcome back, and we are going to be finishing up our Avengers Forever unboxing. If you have not seen the past day's uh, versions of these, why don't you go ahead and click on my channel and take a look at what we got. There are some really cool pieces in this set. But we are just going to jump in. If you haven't seen it, that is going to be your loss. Rare. So, the first piece we have is a mindful one. Not a mindless one. You can see this one is a little bit more gray if I compare that to the mindless one we got in a previous video. Here we go. Uh, I can't say I really know who the mindful ones are. I still imagine they have something to do with Dormammu. Still gorgeous sculpts, especially for uh, the rarity slot they're in. Taking a look at the card, we can see that they can actually spawn in mindless ones if you're rolling badly. Uh, they can also give out the Mystic Steam ability with defense, and they're only 40 points. So I don't really know who this character is, but I think they're pretty cool, and I would love to see um, a few more of them in these booster packs, and maybe a Dormammu, please, pretty please. <laughs> Next up, we have Drax, one of my favorite Guardians. Uh, if anybody has played the Guardians of the Galaxy video game, I absolutely love the Drax in that. Once again, kind of sporting, um, not his classic outfit, but kind of a more casual outfit that I really like. Taking a look at his card, I gotta admit, I love this piece. Um, instead of KOing opposing characters, instead he's gonna turn them to his last non-KO click and heal himself too. He also has super senses and succeeds, he deals the attacker one penetrating damage and it's protected from outwit. Taking a look at the back of his dial, you'll notice those are some scary stats for a 45 point character. Um, but that's hampered by the fact that he cannot kill opposing characters unless he's the only character on your force. But overall, I gotta admit, I'm looking forward to running that guy in a Guardians of the Galaxy theme team. Next up, we have another character who I'm not familiar with, Red Widow. But I gotta admit, this sculpt is probably one of the best we've seen. This is our rare of the pack, and it shows. Taking a look at her card, her name is Unknown. She uh, she has Blades, Claws, Fangs traded. She also ignores characters for movement. If she rolls a 1 or a 2 with Blades, after resolutions, she gets to make another attack. Uh, charge, Flurry, and Stealth. Uh, flurry actually means that she can make a lot of attacks in a turn, depending on how lucky slash unlucky you are. Looking at the back of the card, um, she's just really scary for the points. 45 points. I quite like her as a um, kind of secondary melee attacker. She's going to be doing um, penetrating damage as well. Theoretically, if you roll good enough, she could do, like, what? Like, oh my goodness, what is that? It would be a 6 followed by a 2, 8, and then two sixes. She could do, like, 20 damage in a turn. 20 penetrating damage in a turn. Yeah, that's, that's scary. This is a cool character. Very fun. Very cool. Don't know anything about her. Maybe I should read the Red Guard comics. But other than that, we've seen every other character in the booster pack, so I'm going to leave you guys there for today. Uh, go ahead and follow along. we still got a few more booster packs to go, and I hope you will be there with me when we open them. So until then, I will see you guys tomorrow.